The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm here with Michelle and her mom, Betty. Over the course of two years, Michelle has lost over 180 pounds. But Michelle is here today to reveal exactly how she did it. This is Michelle's story. I've had trouble with my weight my whole life. Age 16, I really was considered obese. At my heaviest, I weighed 315 pounds. I got tired of looking in the mirror and seeing myself. I was disgusted. So I decided to do something about it. Over the last two years, I've lost over 180 pounds. The problem is I lost the weight by binging and throwing up my food. I'll go ahead and hurry up and eat this and do my thing. I lost weight very quickly. I lose a pound a day, five pounds in three days. During a binge, I can eat whatever I can. I have to eat everything in a certain amount of time in order to get rid of it all. And this is what's left of everything. I like to do it five times a day, every day. It's turned into an addiction for me. I know in my head I'm never going to be happy with what I weigh. When I look in the mirror, I see fat, ugly. I'm just disgusted with it. Nobody knows about this. My parents thought I lost the weight naturally and they're going to be disappointed. I have one son. He is nine. My son does not know. I feel like I don't go many places or, or do as much with him as I, I should as a mom. If I let this take over, this is going to kill me. But I just can't stop. First and foremost, Michelle, I know it took a lot of courage to come here today because this is something you've kept secret from everyone. Yes. How do you feel now, now that you've shared this? What's I feel like I mind? can breathe a little bit easier now. I feel like there's hope that I can get better. What made you keep that inside for so long? The fear of how my mom would react. This is the first time I've ever told mom, friends, anyone. Betty, you're sitting here next to your daughter, watching her confess to some of the difficult times she's had. What are you feeling? She's such a sweet girl, and her son loves her very much. And uh, she would just wear clothes that I couldn't tell how fast she was losing it. But um, when I pulled up at the hotel and I saw her standing out there, it was like she was a stick, and I was just worried. I had no idea that it was she was doing it this way. So I just thought maybe it was her health. Was there something wrong? When you walked out on the stage today, Michelle, and you knew that you were going to be telling for the first time your mom and your loved ones, what was your predominant thought? I was scared, scared of their reaction. I want you to look at your mom real quick. I love you, Joey. And I've just been worried about you. I know, I was so scared that you were gonna be mad at me, even I'm though I'm an adult. I, I just you. felt like I love you. You were gonna treat me differently than you were now. And I know. I would never treat you bad. I would be there to work with you if I just knew, but I just kept going and saying, maybe it had something to do with you being not feeling good or. Well, it's crazy. It's like, you know, I see the number on the scale. It's, it could say 140, it could say 130. I'm just never happy with it. I know I'm not the 315 pound girl that I was two years ago, but a little part of me still feels like I am. Well, that's why you're here today. Okay. Right? Because we need to get you better. 